Uh, I mean, from our side, the next time we work, uh, or Dream League works on the, the next compendium and Fantasy League, hopefully things are going to Evis be better for everyone. Um, personally, I'm looking forward for that Phantom as well. Assassin. You have to work with what you have, unfortunately. Dire team pick. On Having said that, definitely. there's a match going on, and there's some picks going on. There are. Oh, hey, oh. boys. Okay, I want to listen to what Andy has to say about PA. Okay, so I think that in 99% of games, PA is, like, almost unusable. Mm-hmm. But if you look at Empire right now, what magic burst damage do they have? The dunk? Uh, what? <laughs> okay, anyway, somebody who actually has any idea what they're saying. Yes. Ten seconds remaining. So uh, they have... Marana. Marana has a lot of mercy. I mean, Marana is the, the magical damage output, remaining. right? Mm -hmm. Like, essentially. So, in this scenario, the high evasion is actually going to do a lot more for her because Reserve the problem that time. she has is her strength gain is pretty meh. She has the lowest stint gain in the game, right? How's her armor? Her armor, base armor, I think is like 4 or 5 or something. Mm. It's respectable. Respectable. Like, her laning is actually not that bad, but, like, the early game engagements is where she really suffers. And you have to usually Ten go seconds, items like phase drums into some other item that has some kind of tankiness, which means that you're automatically Five building into items remaining. that don't necessarily increase your damage output. And if you don't get really good crits, and you don't, like, get to stick a target, you're gonna Radiant have a really bad time. Team like, that, that's basically how I feel about the hero. Now, Okay, you want saying, some magical damage? I'm not saying it's totally unusable, but I'm saying that in a lot of cases, like with the way that people were picking the other day when you saw like Wraith Kings and Centaurs and all the other stuff that Team Empire actually Ten banned out themselves remaining. this game, you wouldn't be able to run it against those kind of teams because Five you would just go splat. Remaining. Okay. Question for you, follow-up question. Dire okay. team uh, you have an LD now, which has magic damage in his ultimate. He has the auto attack, but just pure damage, but... If you hit, it, you, if you, hit, so you So you still are innovation. Now, the thing about this is that OD is a natural ship stick carrier. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want to go yeah. ship stick on him. And Ten Mirana, we have remaining. seen in the past uh, go for ship stick very, once, very, yeah, very um, rarely. Now, here's remaining. the thing knowing that ship stick removes evasion entirely, <laughs> would you go a ship stick on Mirana as a Radiant counter to Phantom pick. Assassin? I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, you would get it anyway, right? I mean, uh, Mirana, Mirana. No, no, oh, no. Mirana. Okay, yeah. okay, Bruno. Uh, Mirana, no. I wouldn't. Or okay. you could just get an MKB. On Bruno, RB. just you're drunk. But you don't know what tire means, and now you're suggesting Bruno we're going Master. sheep just to Ooh. get the evasion. Dire team it pick. kills people. Okay, it's air on team dog That's by more, any chance. More feckin' evasion, boys. And more MKB with so, counter. I guess this is offlane. Or mid, mid. No mid. Uh, yeah. uh, offlane. Um, invoker mid. I, no offlane I, I or or I they could mid. do they could do an aggressive tri lane with this or, honestly. Or defensive tri lane and send invoker solo safe. Which, yeah. that's what I'd go for. Because honestly, like, Phantom Assassin with Blink Strike Ten and um, Chilling Touch on top of it, yeah. like, you actually front load a pretty decent amount of damage. And Empire don't Five have a lot of remaining. Disable, like, pure, like, <laughs> stop hitting me to Disable, outside of just getting put in Astral Imprisonment, right? So, so it's a little bit scary, and uh, Empire are going to last. So I'm guessing that, that lane pretty much wants to be against the PA. I think OD is pretty good against PA, actually, because... If she just blink strikes someone, you just imprison them, and, and she get, has used like attack speed buff on her initiation kind of. Well, if you're using your imprisonment defensively on a hero, gets daggered and blinked on. That's not like, that's not ideal because a dagger is such a short cooldown. I think it's like six seconds. No, no, no. I'm more talking. He's, I guess, more talking about the blink. If yeah, the PA blink. blinks into your team. Yeah. And you save wherever she's yeah, and attacking, and you go on the PA. Yeah, that's right. I think it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're, you're getting at, but I think the cooldown is, like, so short. That, like, no, having it's to... not about the cooldown. It's the fact that she's next to Ten your team. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can turn. I, I guess I can see that. I actually think that this trap, I favor uh, Empire a lot more. Simply that TA, or sorry, OD ult. If you're not killing the hell out of PA and Brewmaster, which I think you are, you're going to drain a ton of mana from at least Brewmaster. You might yeah. even prevent an ultimate. These guys, if you disrupt them once, they're pretty much effed in terms of being able to cast their spells. Uh, with that, there is a ton of physical damage coming out. What is that PA doing? She's like... What? Oh, for a second she looked like she was in the air. Also... Maybe she was, man. We talked about like getting a sheep stick on resolution. And now if he just gets the, the alcohol trial on him, the drunken haze... You actually can't hit PA if you get no. level 2 hazed and she has level 4 evasion. You literally cannot 105 hit. 105% evasion, bro. Does nice. it work like that? No, no it, it does doesn't. not. No. I was going to say, that would be retarded. <laughs> would it yes, be cool it if it did? <laughs> it was Because it used to be, it. like, if it didn't count as a, an actual evasion, then it would stack, like, completely. No, I, I think what happens is it 
runs the 50% first, and then if you hit or miss, then it runs the other one on top yes. of that. <clears throat> yes, that yeah, is correct. Yeah, yeah. But so you that. have like what, 50% on top of, what is the max? Isn't it like 75 yeah, on Hayes? Yeah, 75%, yeah. But still really high, right? Yes. Like you're, you're making an MKB if you're Marana. Or OD nearly. Yeah, well I think OD would probably just go Hex. Or BKB Hex, yeah. Yeah, BKB Hex or four staff or maybe he even, I guess they have a Lich, so maybe he's gonna get a mech. They have three potential mech carriers. Let's also talk about the change that uh, Brewmaster received with the whole. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's really so good. good. When we first re talk, like read the patches, like ah, like seems good. No, Not you just walk no, up no, and you're no, like, no, 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 no. bam. Yeah. It, it's so often that you just run in the jungle and you see a support, mm -hmm. and you just clap, crit, and they're like almost dead. And also, if someone uh, like tried to harass you in lane and you don't get actually hit by the creeps, they can't actually harass you. You trade very well with a hero. Yeah, so exactly. in an offlane position, he will always. It's really hard to zone him out uh, with just one support. Uh, and as you said, like once you get level two or three, your potential for burst damage is super high compared to. I don't think this is an offlane blue master. I think it's mid. It's a mid blue master. Bl blue master. Aggressive try. Yeah, try, man. Aggressive PA, try. PA really the thing good. is that how do you pair that up? Because Empire will want to probably put. Um, just a defensive dual lane, I'd say. Like, Dazzle Mirana can survive against the offensive try. Yeah. They might not get much fun, but they will survive. Then you can have Leech and Axe on the offlane and destroy whoever's in the offlane. Yep. Uh, which is going to, sorry, in the safe lane, which is going to be the solo invoker or the solo mm. brewmaster. And you put the OD myth, which wins against anyone. Yep. So, Empire's but lineup. They, there, there's something that uh, important that you kind of missed. Okay. I mean, I agree with the bottom, like, Empire destroys it if yep. they lane that. But if they go aggressive and there's not two or three heroes top for Empire, that means that the AA and the Rubric are going to be moving around the map. Okay. Which means that that OD is dead. Well, hold like, on, hold on. If AA and <coughs> Rubric is moving around the map, what is PA going to do? Yeah, they can't. No, they can. No, you can't leave PA, well, PA solo can the farm. Yeah, PA can farm with the dagger. Solo against dagger. Marana. Yeah. You can definitely farm against that. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, it could be a defensive trial lane and Brewmaster off hoping the fact that he lanes against, like, I don't know, Mirana 1v1, but we'll see. Yeah, if it's a Mirana 1v1 and you have a poor man's and you have one point into your evasion, <clears throat> you're fine. You okay, don't does lacks. You don't get harassed. Like, it's really difficult actually. And it looks like it will be an aggressive lane here from Empire, at least so far. Yeah, and they're gonna send Fata mid, I think. Yep. Do you think Axe and Dazzle they can creeps keep against this tri lane? No no no. I don't think you can uh, creep skip against you can't creep skip against an AA. Like with multiple ranged heroes, you just get dunked. Like the dunker becomes the donkey in that situation. The donkey. Oh, the donkey might find. That was like donkey almost. <laughs> donkey. Or ducky. Quack. Wasn't there a pro player named Ducky? Yes. Did Played play with for? Dreich, I think? 30 uh, seconds. A long time ago. Seconds. Yeah, we should go ask Dreich. Yeah. They're actually one like five meters away from us. Yeah, but they're live right now. Ah, we're tried. not live. Hey, Papa Dre. Oh. Well. I guess if you're going to be all serious about it, you mm. know. We're a hardworking great. studio, man. There's hey, a man. Picture of that. You know how long it took me to paint all those individual little dots on that screen so it looked like an LED? Pretty amazing. It took me ages. Pretty amazing. Uh, so you're the guy that paints like the, the, the fake phones? Begins. Yeah. The front, like, it looks I'm like, like one of those phone. sidewalk painters who paints like this giant chasm and it looks like you're going to fall in it if you walk over it. That's nice. Double I'm that damage. guy. And I actually paint all of them between games. Speed painter. You're good. With your help, I could be the best. So I will try. Panda trialing. All right. Panda, Panda trialing. Tri Still legit. I mean, the the premise is the same, right? Like you just chilling touch. You manage to find somebody, and you kill them. And the whole point of this lane isn't even just to be able to win top, which they'll win regardless. <laughs> it's just being able to have the freedom to move some supports around to potentially pressure mid. But on the flip side, Empire had the dazzle sitting around mid, so there's a potential for that hero to save Denied. resolution in Denied. this case. So. There's a lot of variables here. I do kind of favor Empire just because of the fact they have the better lane control, like with a Lich in the safe lane, and he's going to be able to get full experience for all those creeps. Yeah, and PA is just not going to have a good time. Nope. Like, melee versus melee, Axe is going to just click on the enemy hero, get creep aggro, and spin. I wish, I really wish PRD is not on Axe. I feel like the hero actually gets weaker by PRD. Well, oh, consistency in the early game is what people kind of wanted uh, if you're jungling if you're not jungling like yeah, you kind of want the three spin yeah you, you want the three spin you can 
Welcome I, back, I see. Man. Oh, you can? I don't know. Is it? No, your mic's not on. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. you're, you're still not a person. Sorry, buddy. No problem. Be there soon. All right, peace. And then I'll leave. But even in this situation, like Pycat, yeah, Mag can abuse creep aggro. He can walk in and spin. But you can just use daggers to see us. I mean, he hasn't put any skill points in yet. But I mean, if he wants to, he can just sit back and dagger. And what can Empire do about that? Yeah, level one dagger is actually not too good. And they can't kill him. Pure damage. Pure damage. Well, yeah, but level two is what yeah, you level want to, two be able is, to get uh, CS. You could do it kind of reliably. I'm surprised he didn't send Lich down here. Well, well why would they send Lich yeah. down there? I think Axe alone. I'm surprised that Dazzle's even here. Like. Axe alone will be fine. It's really valuable to have the Lich taking away a creep from an entire pilot. Uh -oh. We're already lacking EXP. Sunstrike's gonna be off the mark. Arrow to fly. It's on Misery. Always gonna fly in the meantime, taking a lot of auto attack damage. He's gonna tango his way through. He lives. Now they're gonna try to turn it around on Silent, who gets graved. He also leaps away. Are they gonna be able to get Misery? He's so low. Another auto attack from Vance Garland. Not yet. The grave keeps him up. He's still alive. Holy, he's dead. No, he's not. No, he's I, fine. I, I he's scream once his blood. Okay. He's not that fast. He's like below 300 moves speed. What yeah. Yeah. Yep. Should have been made Dude. of fire. Misery and Silent both got within like one head of death there. That was awesome. All right, Max now coming on the ball lane, denying under the tier one tower. All right. I, I think the most important thing for any Axe user out there is you need to have a good early game. Get your levels up. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up be like, Piecat, no, not today. <laughs> And Mag is getting exactly that. Like, he's gonna pick up the ring of region, I imagine, here. Oh. Maybe. Or not. Just go f Tranko, mm -hmm. no, magic stick. Yeah, he's Fine. probably anticipating, like, a lot of dagger spam in order to CS, which is fair. Because that way you can, like, liberally use call, and you can just always head mana for it. Because what, like, five wand charges? Yeah. Is a call, basically. Fucking legit. Alright. No level of Drunken Haze, yeah. I think it's pretty good to get a level early for chasing down people. Well, if Silent was like actively contesting the wave, I would I would agree, but he's only got three CS. So he's not really coming to the wave enough to warrant being able to get Drunken Haze. Like in a 1v1, you obviously would. Like in some cases, I would even skip clap and just go clap at like three and four and five, you know? Yeah. And then just get the Drunken Haze to make sure that you can't CS. Unless you really had to push the lane. Depends, I guess. You think uh, Aghanims and Brewmaster is good? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a hero-making item. Yeah. It's like kind of like, like asking if Aghanims on Tiny is good or well, Warlock. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of order items that are it's, as good. It's as a game-changing yeah, item. Man. The yeah. fact that you spend most of your team fights in your ultimate form. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They buffed it like four or five times. Well, they buffed it and then they <laughs> changed it, but they still kept the buff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like before, all it did was it made your drunken um, drunken brawler basically affect all of your spirits, yeah. and it gave them like an absurd amount of HP. And then they changed and duration that. as well. And yeah. Increased duration. They they changed it so where you lost the HP and you lost the, the drunken brawler, but now you get all of your abilities as their level in Which your. Which is a form. big deal. Like yeah. it increases your damage output by an insane amount. Hopefully MSS will be able to get the axe out there and micro his hero to the heart's content. Now. Literally watching the pianist. I actually got it uh, a few weeks ago. Just look, and uh, when I pressed my ulti form, I didn't actually have the keys bound because you don't use them for any other hero. Yeah. It's so many keys, and I like panicked. Like, I don't know what. I don't know <laughs> what to hit. <laughs> it's pretty difficult, man. Actually, Bruno and I were jokingly talking about this. We we're like saying, why don't we see more Brewmaster to counter Lycan? Because if you think about it, Cyclone disables you for six. Literal and seconds. You can just reuse it straight away after. Right, and guess the cooldown for that one is eight seconds. Yeah. So there's only a two second downtime for that spell. And guess what? Boulder Smash is the two seconds done. Yeah, but you it could... also has a horrendous travel time. Yeah, it don't matter. You're stunning somebody. Yeah, the light is in his ult form, and you, like, You're even if you him. land, like, the boulder is not even fast enough to catch him. Okay, that's fine, though. That's the thing. Our point is saying that you can disable for eight seconds straight up, and it continuously loops. Because by the time the boulder mash uh, finishes, your cyclone's back up. Dude, just pick Ursa. Bears don't care about wolves. Everybody knows that. Since the patch, what have you been getting on Ursa? What do you think is the best items? Uh, I think laning, uh, you obviously get an Orb of Venom. Yeah. Like, every time. Orb of Venom phase is like, uh, what? Super good? You can kill almost any offlaner. You can even run down heroes like Windrunner and Darks here, because Ursa is one of the faster <laughs> heroes. So, I think outside of that, you still always get Lifesteal. Like, some people like Home the Dominator, some people think Vlad's is still okay. Um, Satanic and Scotty is like GG. Yeah, I, I would never buy a Scotty on that hero still. Why? Because no, by the time really you get a Scotty, 
You by, just... by the time you get a Scotty, you would either have like phase blank BKB Hex or, or phase basher. blank BKB Basher. Yeah. Both uh, Abyssal and Hex are better in like every single situation than a Scotty would be. Unless it's against the Lysa. I mean, of course, an Abyssal is better because it costs more. But a Hex is only 100 gold more and it solves your mana problems for the whole game, not just during like a couple of engagements because it gives you flat out regen, whereas Scotty only gives you an, a, an attack and movement speed slow, whereas a Hex is a pure disabler. Oh, top lane. Yeah, this Did is it go? really sad MSS. Boss is going to turn around and the damage. throw on some, some ice cream on him, but it's not going to matter. Not in the meantime, down. looks like Misery is going to fall underneath the tower, and Pycat's down here with not really a whole heck of a lot of mana. There's a ward there. He can throw the dagger, but no, the Sunstrike's going to miss because of the dagger. I'm not sure if he would have fully walked into it. Krieger's going to get ran out. Does he Dump, have the door? Dump, 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 yes! <laughs> well, oh, boy. Oh, my God. If anybody at Team Dog did not realize that could happen, now they'd learn that it can happen. Oh, he, he got 10 magic stick. He got That's 10 a little bit optimistic. He's got 10 magic stick. He's fine. He's yeah. fine. Yeah. They're fading. Oh, they're going to find out. He's really... Transport doesn't have another grave. Pycat is going for another dagger. Mag jukes into the so trees. Fast. He's gonna get grave now. Okay. But that was a little bit premature. Man. Now he might be in some trouble. Mantor is automatic completely. He's gonna throw out another taunt. That armor though. though. That armor. He's gonna run into the side. Stick. He's got two Stick. one charges again. He pops Ooh, him before the auto attack hits. He can eat okay. the tree. Oh he can eat God. the tree. All right, all right. No, he's doing fine. No, oh, another dagger. dagger. He doesn't have mana to blink. Let's go as a heal. Let's go as a heal. Oh. Now give him the give him Rigus with the bad hunger. Where's the Benny Hill, man? That, by the way, the base HP regen on Axe is insane. Yep. He's got 4.2 regen with his Tranquils disabled. And now he's going to be back in the lane. He's like, yeah, yeah I'm fine. I mean, he's eating a Tango now, but still, that's like, that regen actually saved his yeah, life. And, and look at look at his current goal, though. He, he's got, he's the got a blink. Holy. And it's on Tranquil bottom oh, tower is under oh. attack. All right, so a courier counts as six dunks. So that's a see. rampage. It's a rampage. It's a double rampage. I feel for El Poikat now. Dyer's this is bottom hurt. tower is under attack. The second ETB that sun strike would have been really close if a dagger didn't hit. Hmm. We will never know. The world will never know. Yeah, and actually we haven't looked at the mid lane at all. If you look at the mid lane CS, actually doesn't been able to keep up, but I imagine most of them are from neutrals. No, you only kill neutrals twice. Three. Oh, he's, he's, doing, he's, yeah. do, he's doing pretty well, to be honest. Yeah, but that's the power of an X or an Evoker. Like, yeah. even if you take away his intelligence It's still a few base times, damage from Exalt. Yeah, well, you get base damage and int. Yeah. So you're getting a huge benefit. And when you get two Forge Spirits, which you'll have very, very soon, you can freely jungle. Top lane, though, they're going to be going for MSS. Teleport reaction coming in. It's going to be Pycat. Hmm. And they're not going to continue Pursuit. I'm actually very surprised that Pycat has went for the Treads. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Treads. I feel like Faze is one of the best item on Phantom Assassin. Mm. Because it is the cheapest way to get plus 24 damage early on. I think he wants to live. Uh, being alive is pretty good. Resolution, middle lane. Oh no, the telekinesis pulls him out of the sun strike. Another TC by Vance He's gonna drop the ult. The grave's there. The dunk has been used. Pycat waiting on the high ground. The blink dunk on four pots. He wasn't ready for it. The imprisonment. Resolution still alive for the time being. Eventually does go down. Pycat gets that kill. Chain Frost bouncing as well. Mag. He wants the second dunk. He wants it so bad. He just isn't fast enough. He's gonna get baited into power. There's the lift. If he chased Pycat down the river, Pycat was so low that he would have been able to dunk them. Chase the wrong target, man. Sad that life. was that was the murder boner. Yeah. That was I want to kill you so bad <laughs> that I am just gonna forget every other hero exists. Saw the blood like dripping Radiant from. I mean that tower death tower is actually is pretty attack. big because that was the time where they just found out that he had a blink more or less because he blinked in the river and killed Paz right, and then he tries to go for a follow up. But now they know he has it. And giving away that kill, especially to MSS, who is going to be closer to either his blink dagger or if he wants to go for a straight eggs, we have yet to see. But either way, two to two, man. Does the arcane orb from OD hit the brewmaster ulti harder? No, they are hero units. It's They're not a summon. Units. Okay. You know, this game reminded me of a game that Shane and I have played. We were getting absolutely wrecked by mid silencer because Shane oh. loses his mid lane. Wait, wait, that guy was really good. Yeah, well, Shane okay. loses every lane, dude. Yeah, that guy was really good. It was so bad at a point where our heroes didn't okay. have enough int to cast our spells. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> it was like that bad. He had like 50 int stolen from the rest of our entire team. Uh oh. So I was saying. Uh -oh. 
to hold that thought. Yeah. Well, he does have Grave if the TPs are coming in. No, he's good. Wait, did Mag TP bottom? Is this... It's a really gank awesome. top yeah, the awesome. Yo, no, PA is one of the best early game gankers. I've been saying this for years, man. Dagger let's let's and see how it goes before we make that assumption. All right. Oh, courier. Oh, oh they're okay. gonna find the initiation. TPs. There's no TPs just yet. The banish is there. Okay, here they come. Go, go, Power Rangers. Everyone's TPing. Always want to fly the first one to arrive. Mag actually TP'd the tier two, so he's not going to be able to get in front of anyone. Oh, there's the slow. Can Mag get in range? I think he is. I think he's in range. Blink Arena. That's on two. I can TP. Okay. Do that. All right. Cancels the TP. Tower's still gonna get pushed in. Silence up there doing some work. Radiant's the top tower goes tower down. Has fallen. Right. He's gonna fly, guys. He's gonna a blast. And, oh, no. Another sun strike. These hackers are just messing up these oh, kills. Oh, cat. He doesn't want to be here anymore. Resolution eats a cold snap. Getting the double babies treatment right now. He's gonna banish himself. I think that could be a mistake. Oh, says really they can find high ground. There's the clap. Dagger to follow. Grave from Van score. Primal split. Here's the coming in. The Silence courier. gonna be fighting as well. The courier goes down. Meg. He gets a taunt. A two of the spears and high cap. He's gonna get a cold feet here. And there's the dunk. The chain frost gonna bounce basically to nothing but spirits. Oh boy. That chain frost. That panda's back, but it's oh, eating the chain again. frost. <sighs> okay, here comes the player. Yeah, it's gonna it's get another dunk. dunk. It's another dunk. dunk. The sun strike comes down. Oh, and the AA blast. They're your gonna be able to take out Mag. Bata picks up the demise. double there. Two for two trade. You know what's the worst part is when your team chaosters your dunk, you lose movement speed. Or you don't gain the movement speed. If he gained that movement speed, he could've ran straight this out of there. This is all Lumi says when he plays Axelak. You're chaosing my dunk. It's like when somebody takes your kill as Bloodseeker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, seriously. You the don't chaos your Axe's dunk. First of all, it's disrespect. Do you oh, get okay. backhanded for that? It's disrespect. Second you of all, backhanded anyone. Second of all, like your team loses movement speed by getting the dunk, the first initial kill. You either retreat as a team or you go for more dunks. Maybe you just need to get Dyer's better at dunking. Forty percent is pretty attack. freaking fast, it's to be honest. Attack. Yeah, it is. Solo, what a hectic fight, man. You just need a minute, look. <laughs> like Mag blinked into taunt spirits and Pycat, like, and then no one hit him. Yeah. Some coordination issues here on Empire, but it's fine. Also, seem like Dog is having a like that's some strike hit, but all the other ones have been kind of yeah. They might they might Dyer's have practiced too much with PA and attack. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with like the sun strike and the dagger coming out at around the same time. Yeah. You know, and since dagger is such a short cooldown, you're going to be spamming your dagger. Like you want to throw it out as many times as you possibly can during an engagement. So it's kind of understandable that that would happen. But maybe wait for the dagger before you exactly, sunstrike. Yeah. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I see where you're coming from. Yeah, Team Dox is going to go for a tower trade. They're going to lose a tier 1, Dyer's but the rotation is already coming. Vance for walking to the mid lane. Keep in mind that uh, multiple TPs could be used as well. They will. That tower is pretty big because they got Rune Master, the LP tower. Come tower back in. Has fallen. High Cat with this blur activated, he knows. There's a sentry there. Yeah, from when they ganked earlier, the OD. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they saw him. Like, just for a second, but I'm pretty sure they did. A one for one tower trade. I honestly have to give uh, Doggy a banisher. Mid tier one is like the most valuable tower to have. Yeah. So, I mean, even losing a safe lane tower kind of stinks, but I, I feel like losing a tier one mid is, is way more important than that. So, Dog come out a little bit, a little bit ahead. And MSS not having his blink dagger. He's level seven. He has an optimal level haze because he doesn't have enough mana to actually use it. He blinks in and claps and ults. Like, he has enough mana for just that. If he has 10 wand charges, which he does right now, he could potentially haze, but he would have to do that before he ulted. If you're um, if you're TPing the Roshan to help Defender and you're dire, do you not think the tier two bottom is just as good as the tier mid one mid or is? Dependent? Well, the thing about dire is that they have four towers that are all very good to TP to, mm -hmm. whereas Radiant really only have the one. one. Yeah. Like if Radiant loses a tier one mid, their reaction to Roshan is already so much slower. Like even if you've taken all the tier ones in the map from dire, their tier twos are infinitely closer to the Roshan pit so than the tier ones one. in Radiant. I'll blink on here on Misery. The leap arrow follow up and no dunk for Mag. Blink in from MSS. He wants to go deep here. The Sunstrike's going to hit on Resolution. Are they going to be able to take him out this time? He banishes himself. Oh no. But Van Score's in the air. There's not going to be a grave for Resolution when he comes back. Mag's forced out of the fight as well. Pycat's still chasing and always want to fly. Van Score finally lands, but he eats another stone and he's back up in the air again. Still no grave, but Pycat's by himself. He actually eats Chain for off to the face and Silent gets the kill on him. Here comes the A Black Silent. Going to overstate is welcome. The hammer's dropped. This MSS goes down. Mag gets that kill. Still has Dunk. Blink coming off cooldown. But here comes the dagger. It's a buyback. And they want to try to go back in on this. Mag, he gets grave. Sunstrike off the mark again. Ooh, arrow's gonna hit. Father takes it to the face. He could
could blink out of this if he does, and he does. He's gonna get home fine. There's no vision of him. And oh no, the Deathwing Blast misses as well. Panda doing a lot of work there preventing Grave, but they couldn't kill anybody because they just uh, had no damage. That AI ulti, like, just See, the thing is, as fun. soon as Resolution banished himself and Vanscore got put in the air, they all should have just stopped and turned around and killed Resolution. Yeah. Like, they totally fumbled their coordination there. Like, pretty hard. Because when you banish yourself like that, like a defensive banish, and your support isn't there to help you, it's a free kill. It like, is. you just turn and you're just like, yep, you're dead. Yeah, but I think but Pie Cat chased always want to fly all the way into the trees, died, oh. and then bought back and got nothing. There were some good arrows in that fight from Silent Dog. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. To, to defend Pie Cat, PA is one of those heroes that you could get so many quick kills, and you have the mobility and the cooldown to go back in for the second kills. So I, I guess that's kind of what he went, went for. He just went for too many kills. Normally, sometimes that will get fine. In this case, it got horribly. Yeah, he needs more items. Does he go hammer the dom? Yeah. I think he finishes Lads. drums. You really want to finish your drums because he kind of needs the mana, to be honest. I mean, I guess if you have a full wand, you don't need it. Maybe. Hard to say. He could just go like lifesteal basher. I think that's a pretty common item progression. Some people even oh. like S and Y. Yeah. Oh. Is dead. Oh god, super dead. That noise. That's a level two dunk, man. And with a vanguard. Like, Mag is actually... He feels Radiant invincible. Tower. I guess Whoa, it's dog nearly... You have to burst him with magic. Like, you have the sun strike. Oh, oh. here comes the point clap. They're gonna try for it. But the first one with the Vanguard. I mean, he's still taking uh, some damage. Maybe really not so invincible. The Grave comes out. They're gonna continue chasing him. They're even gonna throw it a sentry on the high ground to stop the Moonlight Shadow from getting him away. And he's gonna drop. All right, so much for invincibility. <laughs> I mean, every fight he was getting focus. Because that, uh, the Storm Panda was going for a uh, dispel. I guess when you eat literally every spell yeah no uh, one's default. invincible yeah invoker man good damage please don't they spotted that smoke and mid i think with the high ground vision yeah so i mean every time they kill mag he's like the person who forces fights so every time he's off the map it gives dog a lot of time to be able to recoup farm get themselves back into a better position. And I feel unlike Brewmaster, where you're still gonna have that high level of control during team fights, even as the game stretches on, Ash is a hero where if you get behind and farm, you kind of just blink in and die at a certain stage. And there's that very fine line where you go from being ahead on an ax to dying one too many times, and then you become kind of a liability where you need band score to grade you instead of like resolution, for example. What do you think about the no ulti? And um, like band score has not learned his weave. I, I think actually leveling up Grave in this game is most good. important. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, it's I, I wouldn't get my second point attack. to Poison Touch. I wouldn't max Shadow Wave against A. No, but Radiant's when your Axis is blinking is into call, yeah. Yeah. Like Shadow Wave does do damage. Here comes Initiation from the background. It's going to be Blink. No call just yet. So he's going to go Fata now, but taking a ton of damage again. That Vanguard is going to do a ton of work. Here comes the up TP out dunk. And the next target is going to be moving on. They're going to chase. They see Misery. Misery still Chain Frost. And the Chain Frost is going to come. It's going to be two bounces, but they're not going to do too much. A second dump. All right, next target. Meanwhile, we have Pycat just running away from Silent. Double what? Storm? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I think he thought they were the other creeps, the Radiant creeps. I mean, Silent did kill um, Poss, I believe. We didn't see it because there was another fight going on, but he, he killed Poss around there, yeah. But still, um, Dog definitely kind of getting pulled apart there. I don't know, man. That was really awkward. And the thing is, they were trying to push in, but they didn't even have a uh, split. Like, Brewmaster didn't have his ulti. Yeah. Middle tower is under I think attack. the problem is, yes, they can kill Mag, but when his team Radiant is around them, after you blow all your spells on Mag, you just don't have anything else. You give free reign to Silent, then. Yeah. Oh, fly. Oh, fly. He's going to eat the blink clap. Arrow coming in. And he's going to fight the able to TP. No, oh, never mind. Stolen arrow. <laughs> and a sun strike. Fata. Radiant's Fata gets the kill. Always want to fly. Attack. Rest in pieces, friend. Yeah, and the next problem is going to come out once that blame mail is finished on that. I mean, yeah, you could throw the spells on him. He's fine with that. It's going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt you way more. Also, eventually in this game, Marana is going to have a Mjolnir finish. You put the Lightning Lord on that. Do you think on BKB, is, is PA like Shadow Fiend, where you don't really need items because of the crit? Or no, 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 no. You need you need PA is like the total opposite of that. Okay. Yeah. Because if you don't crit, you're a kitten. He yeah. hits for 90 damage. Hmm. That's why you need that phase, Radiant's man. At 21 minutes in, your carry attack. is hitting for 90 damage. That's like a support level damage. 
And it's not like Murano, where you have like an arrow and a star storm to contribute damage into the fights. It's okay, I have a dagger. 180 damage. And if I if I blink in, I hit somebody a few times and I get lucky, I'll, I'll front load a decent amount. But he's not even level 11, so he needs level 2 ulti. Okay. I mean, 200 damage crits at 21 minutes. This doesn't really feel that menacing to me. Yeah. But I still feel like... Like, dog aren't out of it yet, but they're not in a great spot. Because their PA is basically as farmed as the offlaner. Ooh, it's pretty bad, actually, when I just checked the graph. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they've are they got themselves into a little bit of a rut. Mm. We've seen bigger come back. Mac will spot out Misery. Is he going to jump for it? Is the question. He has Ice Armor. He's basically immortal, as Andy said. Basically invincible. Until he oh, not oh, invincible oh, at all. Okay, well, he's uh, oh, going to have to test that invincibility. Oh, no, 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 I don't know about no, that. No. Every time we've said it, he dies now. It's hilarious. That's why I don't say it. That's not very silly. Poor guy. Poor man. believe that. They did pay out a Brewmaster ult, to be honest. And I think that's actually not too bad. That's a pretty short-ish cooldown. No, it doesn't. 100. Forty seconds. Two and a half minutes, more that's, or less. That's not a short cooldown. I don't know. I think in the grand scheme of things, like 19 kills in a 22 minute game, I think that's a reasonable cooldown to have. Right, but it's like, if you don't have your Brewmaster all, you don't push a tier one top, right? That's kind of, that kind of thing. I think it, it limits what Team Doc could do. Power set? Dude, no. tier one toast. Count it. Yeah, no, no, they're pushing for a tier one bot, and they won't have a Brewmaster all, and I think this is a poor push as a result, if they're going for it. Maybe. That's one of the best team fight ults in the game. And you're pushing a tower without it. Well, they've Necro 3 now, and they have a gem. That's some. They're relying on Fata pretty heavily, like during this stage of the game. On if, he can, if he can keep them in the game, like via just pure damage, and being able to blow somebody up with like a meteor and a cold snap, like we saw him do to Mag, then yeah. I think they might be able to sustain long enough for PyCat to start getting some items. Because as a six slotted carry, PA is actually pretty damn scary. Yeah. Like, when she gets her third or fourth item is when she really starts to come into her own. But until that point, he's relying on RNG. Yeah. And you better hope he prayed, because if not, I mean, it's not going to be great. You're going to get to a point where Diamond's you can start one-shotting supports or even attack. carries. That's when you're like, oh, shit, we just lost the team fight. Yeah, he yeah, just kills the babies. Yeah. Resolution, dropping a bit low. But these necro books, they're not being micro properly. That's 400 gold and, like, a ton of experience. But what did it do? Nothing. So... Give him a bit of goof. All right, fine. Well, I mean, they got max shadow wave, man. They're gonna heal him up. In defense, and he's got a BKB. That's like push complete now. Like that's dog. Oh. 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 Unfortunately, right. everyone kind of backed up. So. Yeah, once the necro creeps die, there's no push. That's you can do. Free rush. Necro's are down. Looks like. Oh, a blast is used. And a DD as well on silence. So. Easy pickings. Oh, they're not even getting. Easy. Yeah. Would so you hard. give this to OD or to uh, Nalana? I think OD does way more. I would give it to Mag. Really? Yeah. No. I don't think Resolution's gonna die. I mean, you could give it to anyone, really. I just think that Mag is the one who's most likely to put himself in harm's way, right? Like, you want the hero who puts himself in harm's way to get the item that brings him back to life after he's died. Sean has fallen has the That way you're gonna have to use the Shallow Grave. They're thinking about it, man. Yeah, there's right. to Mag. Okay. Fair enough. Silent is going for the good old Yasha into Mielstrom. 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 Mjolnir is coming up next. <laughs> and what's menu? <laughs> let's let's not. Plus menu. Please, let's not get into it. Once you have frost armor, lightning armor, lightning armor. mail armor, all the armors. You actually have every element of armor. Yes. No, you would act. You would have to be. You'd have to have a Lich and an Ember Spirit because yes. you need to have fire armor, lightning armor, and frost armor, and living armor. Yeah, the Earth Armor. You need the Earth the elements. With the and then Captain Planet. It's very quickly it. turning into Pokemon. Right, that was like the worst power. This isn't Captain Planet. What's Heart Armor do? It's terrible. <laughs> that was like the crappiest power. It's like, I got fire, earth, water. I can, Animal. I can talk to Bambi. All right, man. Dog bark. Go get him. Wait, Arr. let me guess. The girl had that power. No, no, no. Okay, Who yeah. was it? Musky? Oh, gang up top here. Look at the... Okay, oh, Chris. Oh, yeah, well, Aegis right. came in usefully. The Critterino. The chill push damage is actually coming in pretty big here. Can they do anything else, though? Max still kind of caught out. Oh, Resolution. He's going to get spotted maybe by the Necro? No. Jim as well on uh, Misery, so... Uh-oh. He can be almost done on PyCat.
That one's got the DD. He's going for the he's going for the rat, man. He doesn't have a TP. No yeah. TP or Reno. He was just walking. Carry, carry God, that's Reno. why he got the leap, man. But the movement speed. <laughs> well, looks like Dog. They're going to pressure this. They're, they see Silent. Like, they know he doesn't have Radiant's a TP now because he showed himself with a creep wave. So this is the push. Fine. They got a glyph. Dyer's this is the push. They got a... No, wait. They're TPing away? Oh, good. That's an arrow. That's a... Radiant's That's a free fortified. tower. Well, well, out glyph. It's going to get denied, but, you know. You didn't get anything from that Team Dog. They denied the tower. That's not good enough. Radiant's At least get the other tower, tower force a fight, man. Denied. You got Blink Panda, you got 4v5. He didn't have a TP. I don't know. You had everything there. And you got the Aegis for free. Maybe they don't think they can win 4v5? Even so? Mm. I'm pretty sure they can win 4v5. Not Forge Spirit, just kill this brother. Unless, unless there was like a super sick taunt chain frost or something. And then that would probably still be questionable. Hmm. When you just TP away to deny a tower, that's like kind of giving up. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's 4v5. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and have to ask you guys to go deny the tower. I don't know, man. That feels like throwing in the towel to me. I don't know. I never give up. Oh, I know. Even when you're 0 7 Batrider, you never give up. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Building the kill And now Empire just counter push. They're like, okay, we got five now. And if you're not gonna fight us as four, you're sure as hell not gonna fight us as five. <laughs> so we just get another tower. This one's not denied. And Mag is pretty close to Aghanims as well. That threshold becomes kinda scary. 650, man. 625, right? Oh, 625, yeah. yeah. That's level 16. Like, AA has 720 left. Radiance top tower yeah, if he gets out of attack one time, <laughs> uh, he's in dunk range. <laughs> or even if he ulties and he just blade mail and then dunk him. Yeah, you blink, you taunt, you blade mail, and him once, dunk. Oh, the haste. The DD? The haste into DD rune. What is with silent and DD runes, man? I don't know. Just permanently double damaged. Fight mid, as they should. If this arrow hits, man, you go. Oh, oh. that was close. All right. Yeah, looks like Boom Master. Is he going for the eggs? Like, usually get the point booster first. He's going for the overclub. Maybe he fought before and didn't have enough gold at the time. That could be. Yeah. The only reasons I can think of. Yeah. Unless you really want that extra 10 strength for the damage. The deeps. You gotta get that freaking drunken brawler hit in, man. <laughs> So, P has a BKB finish. Yeah. Hasn't need to use it yet. But, but he only hits for 123, man. It's going exactly. up slowly. 123 damage. It feels like whenever I buy BKB and I'm not using it, it's just like, why did I get this? It doesn't help you farm. Well, he would use it in a fight. That's right, the thing. but there's no fight right now, it's right? It's a necessary evil for him, though. Like, if he doesn't buy a BKB and a fight happens, they yep. lose and the game. Oh, now. He's not gonna oh, fight. Oh, Max, go okay. in. Bata still alive here. Top tower is under I mean, getting that kill is huge. He has nearly 5k gold. From the How did Mag die so quickly under that? Dude, he ate a meatball. Yeah, where was the, the grave? Face? He was too far away. Bottom tower is under attack. Oh, it's only level three grave. I guess that's still pretty long distance. It. Yeah. Uh, Radiant's middle that means if you're not careful with your Earth Spirit, you could be the demise of your team. Yeah. Because the Chain Frost is we never going to stop. We actually talked about this the other day. You, wait, you go into the jungle and you find some stone golem, and you just keep ulti in them, and yeah. wait for them to like go kill some neutral creeps, and then... Wow. We've all seen that YouTube video where you do it to the Ancients, and... Well, is he... Resolution now with this, his Hex. Got a pretty interesting score. 0, 2, and 5. No. Yeah. It's fine. He's died a few times. He's got big creeps. He's hit a hell of a lot of creeps. He likes the creeps. Benny. Killed 41 of his own babies as well. Alright, they're gonna give him the good wraparound. There's a sentry war right there. Fata, oh. hex him up. Oh, Fata's dead. Straight up. Nova. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Oh, oh. The flip. No taunt. Tiger's gonna be there. Pops a PKB. And he's looking for crits, but even with a crit, it did no damage to resolution with the ice armor on him. And, and it does a weave. Yeah, they're gonna just re here. Blink. Okay, now. 
Okay, so with any other hero besides Fata got caught, I'd say they might be able to pit some kind of defense, and Boss is just gonna eat an arrow in the face. But they even force Misery to buy back in that fight in the river. Oh, Mag goes in. He wants the dunk. Oh, if he was 16, that was a dunk. Unfortunately, he is not. He's gonna get lifted. There's a Mjolnir proc. He got Sanity's Eclipse on there. It's not really that no, good. It, it drains mana. Yeah, it does. That's Actually, pretty much... a big mana drain for the team is not too bad. Yeah. But I mean, man. it costs all of his remaining mana to use. Hey, he probably will die after. But they had Essence Aura, so who cares? Yeah. And all of the heroes on their team basically have a low mana cost. Goal. Okay, he had one hero. It, it, he he, he mana drained mag. He mana drained mag. Radiant yeah. structures not bad. are fortified. Pretty bad, but you know. <laughs> so, if you're a PA who hits for 120 damage, what's your game plan? I don't know, dude. I mean, what is your move? You throw out your stifling dagger at six second cooldown, and you pray for big crits. Because they do crit now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they crit, but it's like, hey, man. When the daggers done. still do more than your auto attacks at 32 minutes in, it's not great. I think you need to, instead of spinning the dazzle on the lich, I think you need to kill them. Because you're not killing anyone else. I don't like think you're killing muscle. anyone, period, man. Believe, Andy. I think the purpose of this lineup was supposed to have like a really strong mid game. So you have like Exert Invoker, Brewmaster, ALTs, and then yeah, yeah, I mean, some stolen spells from the Rubik could potentially add in some nice team fight. And to be fair, Misery's played really well. Mm -hmm. He got two kills with stolen arrows, which is sick. They just don't have enough more damage now. Like BKBs are out. By this time, PyCat's supposed to be able to like blink in and be like, Kapow, you're dead. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you, you want like big crits. Yeah, like 800 plus. Yeah, he's, he's got like 200 crits on like ice armor. And Dazzle as well, like don't yeah. forget about Dazzle. Oh, here we go, this is it. Magus wants to go ham, he manages to get two kills out of that three down on the side of Dog. Resolution didn't even die. Resolution still alive, he forced that some spell out, the Pycat is going to be the next one to go down here, Silent, he picks himself up a double. The Blink is just too strong, and Team Dog are just like, I we can't. We really just can't. Dyer and Team Empire victory. is first place in Dream League. For real now. For real. Oh, oh Jesus. Holy oh, shit. Okay. How are you so oblivious to your surroundings? Like... Remember the first day when Bruno stood on the paint? <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that. Like, yeah.